All right, so today I wanna to show you how to take your main basic shape that you made and add your soap pump, okay? So the first thing is, is you want to, like we can trim this part later if it's too long. We just don't even wanna deal with it right now, so just take it off and set it to the side, okay? So the thing is, is we need this to be able to go into the top, right? So we want a, a hole that is about this size, okay? So we wanna make sure that our hole is not gonna be too big or too small, okay? So when we go to do this, what I like to do is I'll start with a relatively small hole and I just trim out a little hole. Now I would wait until this is leather hard to do this normally, but I don't really wanna wait that long right now, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check it. I'm gonna be like, okay, well, that's too small. This doesn't, this doesn't go in at all, okay? So I'm gonna trim it a little bit bigger, right? And I'm gonna be like, okay, let me make this a little bit bigger. And I'll stick this in here and be like, well, it's starting to get bigger, but it's still not quite big enough, right? And you're just gonna kind of keep trimming it a little bit bigger each time. Now, like I said, my clay is super squishy, so I'm getting this lip on the top, which is not super fun, but that's just because my clay is squishy. If you wait, like I said, to until it's leather hard, that would work better, but since I'm making all these videos on the Wednesdays, I don't wanna wait till next Wednesday because that's gonna take a long, <laughs> then it'll be too dry and it'll be really hard to open. So I'm gonna keep kind of checking it. I'll smooth off my little bumpy thing. And I'm gonna be like, okay, ooh, that's getting closer, right? Now, you know, or if you don't know, you're gonna know in like two seconds, but clay shrinks as it dries and it shrinks a little bit as it's fired. So we actually want this hole just slightly, slightly bigger than the actual um, soap pump little nozzle-y, whatever this thing's called. I don't even know what it's called. Okay, so now if I look at this one, it fits in there and it, it's just like just slightly wobbly. That's exactly what I want. Don't make it any bigger than that because if you make it too big and it doesn't shrink enough, then it's going to fall in and then you can't use it as a soap pump. I mean, you'd have a beautiful vase, but if you weren't going for a vase, then, you know, we want to do that. So you're just making sure that your hole really matches this really closely. And once it shrinks and has been glaze fired and everything, when you push this in, it should sit fairly close to that. If it's a little bit up too high, that's okay, but it'll be about like that, okay? All right, and then you just, you know, decorate it however you want. And once it's been fired, uh, you can, once it has been fired and you have the little stick thing back in there, if your stick pokes into the bottom, like this is as far as I can push it in, just trim the little stick thing. It's just plastic and it's really easy to trim plastic, okay? So you would just trim it so that way it reaches the bottom, but it's not like shoving into the bottom. All right, thanks everybody, have a great day.